walking. It seems simple enough, but it's actually an incredibly complicated process, as researcher Stephen Collins explained via Skype. Everybody is different. So what makes walking easier for you might actually make walking harder for me. And we're all constantly changing, uh, especially when we're adapting to some new assistive device. And so we think that these challenges help explain why uh, of the thousands of devices that have been designed over the past several decades, only a handful have been shown to make walking easier. And that is why most prosthetic limbs or attachable exoskeletons don't work all that well. Philippe Malcolm spoke to VOA via Skype. But like if you think about to find a shoe that fits you best, that's, that's not so easy. Um, and so, um, yeah, exoskeletons are, are not a passive device typically in contrast to footwear. They apply this type of robotic assistance pattern. Um, and it's not as simple as just mimicking what the human does. To solve the problem, researchers from Carnegie Mellon University designed a new prosthetic and paired it with a complex artificial intelligence algorithm that analyzes the way a person walks. The computer then suggests small tweaks to the exoskeleton's assistance patterns, which make it work more efficiently. The algorithm looks at how you've responded to this set of assistance patterns and gets a sense of what's working for you, what's not and comes up with some new guesses as to what's going to be the best pattern of assistance for you. The computer monitors how much energy a person is using as they walk. The less energy used, the better. It's really important to improve energy economy for people with disabilities because they expend much more energy to walk the same distance or at the same speed as people uh, who don't have a disability. And that really limits uh, how far they're going to walk in a day uh, or it, it influences, it seems to influence their choices as to whether they're going to go do something. Collins says the algorithm can optimize an exoskeleton's efficiency in about an hour. Right now it can take a therapist weeks to do. His team is working with the Veterans Administration and believes the technology will be in doctor's offices within five years. Kevin Enix, VOA News.